when I first moved to Washington in 2006. I had come up to DC with a lot of friends from college, but didn't really know many people in the movement. And so a, a coworker, a friend of a friend, uh, brought me to an AF event in the spring of 2006, and I was blown away. In my work at IHS, we uh, work with a lot of college students and, and help them learn more about the ideas of liberty and get, a, get started in careers. But once you're started in the liberty movement, uh, it's important to sustain that kind of energy that you saw as a college student. And AF is really the only organization out there that's really helping uh, people early in their careers. When people come to DC right out of college, they often uh, spend a little bit of time adrift. I know that I did. And one thing that AF does for um, for people who have come to town is give them not only a place to kind of a safe space to talk about different issues but also um, real connections that can help them find their next job, their new job, a freelance assignment, uh, someone to, to look over their work. It was only at AF that I was able to develop writing constantly on my favorite topic which was corporate welfare and crony capitalism. Occasionally in my day job I got to write on that, but it was only for the AF publications that I was really able to develop my voice, develop sources, really develop an expertise in this issue. The big challenge that has faced AFF and that has faced the conservative movement since I've been involved in it now for more than half a century is what happens after someone who's been engaged in the battle of ideas at the college or graduate school level after she or he graduates. How do they keep that interest up in ideas? Joining AF is a great way to kind of jump right into the scene. Uh, of course, there is no shortage of luncheons, panels, happy hours, uh, networking events in the city. But, um, you know, really you need somebody to sort these things out for you. And one thing that AF can do is say, um, you, know, don't, uh, you know, don't bother to go down to the scrum on Capitol Hill. Uh, we can we can pre-select a great group of people for you and uh, and really try to make your kind of hour of serious inquiry worthwhile and your hour of socializing fun. What AF does is it allows young professionals who may be working deeply in the movement, working in politics, or may be on the outside of it, working in another industry, working in business, working in nonprofits. It gives them an opportunity to practice their skills, build their network, and develop the tools that they'll need to best support the conservative and libertarian movement. If you're just getting started in the liberty movement, I really recommend that you join AF and start attending some of their events. So definitely take advantage of all AF has to offer, both the networking, uh, the career support, and the, the moral support of other people just like you who are starting out in careers in liberty. AF is the premier national organization for young professionals to learn the ideas of liberty and gain the skills that they need in order to become lifelong, effective, and engaged advocates for free markets and liberty. We are reaching new heights for liberty throughout the country. It's been so critically important over these years to build these cadres in so many cities around the country of people who are able to work together, come together, and share ideas and remind each other that they're not all alone out there. AFF really does play a very unique role around the country. I often find myself giving advice to young people in Washington. And one of the things I tell all young conservatives and libertarians in Washington is get involved in AF. AFF is reaching new heights. New heights. New heights. New heights for liberty.